what's up y'all so i just wanted to come on here and pretty much go over the stocks i told you guys about yesterday so let's get right on up into it so first we have c limited se ticker name um this thing is just crazy so their total revenue increased by 101.6 percent which equals out to 1.6 billion in the fourth quarter they announced the launch of c capital which is a platform to manage its overall investment efforts and partners with entrepreneurs they also announced their new company called c al labs which is pretty much focusing on the advancement of technology and the digital economy across their region this thing is the amazon like i said if you weren't able to get into amazon when it was low numbers this is it they were up by actually like 21 dollars yeah and it dropped down after you know the market I hate when they do that like okay here we go with these nice numbers and then it just bloops okay that's so uh, it's annoying but they were up at like 17 and it dipped and then did that but they held above it still was a green day for them i really thought they were going to be a red day but they were green so congratulations to them and that company has so much to offer look into them if you have not next one we have fubu tv i really thought they were going to do way worse I have no good luck with earnings, so I don't expect nothing good from earnings. All the great news can come out. Good news came out for them, too, and they dipped. So let me get into what happened with them. Their fourth quarter revenue nearly doubled to $105.1 million. I believe this is the first time they ever seen over $100 million for revenue. Um, from a year ago, their subscribers improved 73%. It said the company announced it closed its acquisitions of Victory, if I'm saying that correctly. That's a sports betting and interactive gaming company. Um, I believe that partnership with NBA and MLB. So I would definitely keep an eye out on this one. This is as close as you're going to get to Roku. Um, to me, honestly, that's what I compare this stock to. I could see numbers going crazy. That's just that. Um, I would definitely look into that one if you have not already. They're priced at $38.90. Nice little price. Not too bad at all. I would look into them. These two right here, KMPH and AQST. I'm just really disappointed because nothing has came out. They were supposed to um, receive the FDA approval. Nothing came out. I mean, no PR releases, nothing. Um, it's several articles saying that stuff was supposed to come out today. I guess they were like, no. So we're going to keep an eye out on it in the morning. They did dip for a second. It was pretty good buy-in. But then they went back up. They went up 50 cent after hours. I'm just happy I didn't lose no money. I actually have some shares with them. But I'm like, what the hell? I was expecting stuff to come out. I was excited, but no. So if they, you don't know they have the ADHD medication. And they also have several others. This is actually low, a low point for the stock. Um, they expect the stock to be like in the $20 range, if not more. They have several different medications that's supposed to be coming out. Um, they announced a new one, I believe, in January, the trial for that one. And then they have this one that's supposed to be receiving FDA approval. It was so much going on. People were talking so much <laughs> in, on stock tweets. It was hilarious. I was I was not even upset because the stock tweets uh, group was hilarious. So I will keep an eye out on that one. Then we have SPPI. I'm going to talk about this one. So I said watch this. I never say bye to any of the stocks I um, say because I don't want you to go in. Like, I don't want that. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here to give out great notes and tell you what's going on. So they had the they presented today at a conference and their presentation was really good. Um, this is one we keep my eyes on heavy. I did not buy into it. Um, they have a look like 67% buy and then 33% hold. So today they pretty much talked about their, I guess medications you would call it. Their improved, um, it says that one of their medications improved the anti-tumor activity and the tolerability. Uh, uh, Ooh, goodness. <laughs> but yeah, so the medicine improved therapeutic efforts and lowered adver um, adverse events. So this is why I say keep an eye on it. They're going to be talking at several conferences, I believe, this week. Their volume was actually up today. On average, it's $2.77 million, and it was at $3.97 uh, million today. So that's all I have to talk about. Um KMPH and AQST, they really disappointed me, but 
like I said, this is one to definitely look into. They have high price targets and they they in the lab cooking. So <laughs> that's all I can really say. But that's all I wanted to come on here and talk about. I want to just do a review of that stuff. If you have any questions, you can email me. My email is in my about box. If you have any comments, you can comment below. But thank you for watching. Please like my uh, video and please subscribe to my channel if you already have not. Bye.